It is currently Monday, January 16th, 2012, and we are on to part number three of Day 9 Daily, number 400, and ah, uh, where we are learning to be a better gamer, kind of? We're looking at the Fun Day Monday topic where our opponent chooses two units that we are disallowed from building, and we may never build those units ever again in this one game. <clears throat> Uh, as many of you can tell, my voice is going out, and doing the Dragon Ball Z voice is not really helping. Um, but someone, of course, pointed out that that sounded a little bit more like Solid Snake from uh, Metal Gear Solid, as you might imagine. Colonel! Colonel! Can you imagine that guy in ordinary situations? Colonel! Thanks for inviting me over to Thanksgiving dinner. Is that a real mantle? Your wife's stuffing is delicious. In reference to the turkey stuffing. <laughs> And of course, at which point the colonel's like, to shut up, press the action button. Cool. In the top corner, we have none other than Fun Day Monday. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sean, press the action button, would you? Would you just press the action button for me? And in the right position, we have Diesel. And I don't really know how that works, because I've only ever owned a car. Stalkers and Zealots are the two units that Funday Monday is disallowed from building, and I greatly appreciate Funday Monday's dedication, giving himself the name of the day. That is incredible. That's like my daughter, whose name is actually Starcraft Colon Brood War. There's, the colon is in her name. Her name is Starcraft Brood War Plot. Mm. And her middle name is Heavy Nostalgia. And if anyone asks, she just says that my dad is a hippie. And then what happens is I go to the people that she tells that, a link to my Wikipedia article. Ugh, I'm no hippie. I just had passion, bitch, you ungrateful daughter. And she's like, Daddy, I'm eight. And I'm like, excuses, excuses, excuses. Ugh, God, I hate my daughter. <laughs> Day nine, I thought you haven't had a girlfriend in like two years. Look, none of that. Don't give me that. None of that. Excuses, excuses. You're just jealous that your daughter has a boring name like Molly or Felicity. Yes, yeah, so Funday Monday points out, I think the next time someone picks Zealots and Stalkers, he's going to cannon rush. But Diesel says, lol, that would have been good. In the meantime, Funday Monday has cojones of brass. He has balls of titanium. He has manhood made of strong alloy. And uh, uh, so he's just going to go straight for the cybernetics core naked. He is getting a uh, proxy pylon, which is a little bit dangerous. Um, but that's okay. Funday Monday is not actually concerned about this issue at hand. He's also getting zealot rushed, which is, uh, I suppose, a little bit concerning. I suppose a little bit problematic, but that's okay. <laughs> Ooh. Diesel is actually an orca whale <laughs> playing the game. Trying to get some echolocation to find out if there's a base anywhere. Um, it's awfully hard to micro with those big damn fins, but that's okay. Because if he ever gets upset, he can destroy his computer desk with razor sharp teeth. Alright, cool. There's the forge from Fun Day Monday. He's going to build a photon cannon in his mineral line. Not necessarily because he um, is worried about Dark Templar. It's because he actually has zero fucking units. Good. But look at this. Look at the micro. Look at the units lost tab. He's lost nada. Nada units lost. How many units have been lost? Not a unit. Okay, well, he lost one unit, but it was actually, like, over here somewhere. Where was the unit that was lost? Where was it? Was it in the main base? Yeah, it was this pro. Over here, though, where King Micro of Microville of Control Well Empire is just continuing to lose probes. But he only lost two. Oh, fucking better. That's right, he's doing pretty damn good. And now that he's built, uh, now that he's, I don't want to say built cannons, but more of like done a cannon walk to the front, um, he's going to go ahead and maybe build a cannon at the front of his base. He hasn't started um, warp gate research, but Fun Day Monday, who is an unbelievable badass, just says a few. Diesel says lol. And Diesel is going to go three gate robo. He does have three in both geysers. Thought that would have been a lot worse. Oh, don't worry, Fun Day Monday. You are just getting started, my friend. We have a sentry and a void race coming out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You can't make zealots and stalkers. Oh, no. There's two battles happening at once. Here he comes. Look at him charging up. Oh, goodbye. Wonder probe. 
Oh, he's... Oh, my God, he's not even close to being done with the warp gate cycle. And... Oh! 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 That was my impersonation of the film short Rejected. But now let's see if uh, Funday Monday is going to be able to escape. He's running away. And he gets there, getting there every time. Funday Monday. Is Dark Templar rushing? Funday Monday is doing a combination of everything that everyone loves doing in Free For Alls, the Bronze League, and when they're trying to troll the ladder. Cannons, Void Rays, and Dark Templar. Right, Protosses? Right, you jerks? I hate playing against you in Free For Alls. I'm trying to go mass nukes. Oh, I've been left alone for 20 minutes. It's time to build 40 fucking Void Rays and nothing else. Not even an upgrade, except for plus one shield? What? No armor, no attack, and you've got a shield upgrade for your Void Rays that fly? But it helps my buildings. Fuck you. God, I have a lot of pent-up frustration about this. I'm actually mad. My god, maybe it's... Maybe it's that my... Maybe my water levels are off. I'm gonna go ahead and take a vitamin pill. It's actually a potassium tablet. Mm. Ah, that's good. It's good. I'm feeling more balanced already. I can feel the potassium functioning beautifully as a placebo. Oh, this is working fantastically. Excellent. Anyways. Dark Shrine coming up. A second gateway, which kind of makes sense. You don't want to have a lot of gateways. Do the fourth, the field, F, F, no, no, oh my god. Can any amount of probe micro save you now? The Void Ray is fully charged, but as it turns out, Void Rays are not particularly good against stalkers. Here it comes. Here it comes. All right. Looks like Void Ray pulling back. Three more still left there. Meanwhile, at the front, holy crap, Diesel built a pylon at the bottom of the ramp. He is seriously playing like an A-plus PG Tour S class Korean pro. And what else can we do but Chrono Boost Void Rays build cannons and pray that that Dark Shrine finishes quickly. Oh my god, please. Please, Dark Shrine, finish quickly. How many Protosses who are watching right now have been in this very situation? The Marines and Marauders are storming up your ramp, and this is what your screen is doing, right? Sure, there's a huge battle going on here, but what are you doing? You're just... And then it finishes, and you warp into Dark Templar, and he scans and kills you, and you're like... Count to ten. Just count to ten, Sean, and breathe. Happen to you? Happens to me? Happens to everyone. And is happening right now to Funday Monday. On Funday Monday right now. And there it goes. Oh, he loses it, but he did manage to charge up on his cybernetics core because a man who micros his probes like a total freaking badass would, of course, micro his void race like an equally appropriately badass badass. One Dark Templar on the low ground, one Dark Templar on the high ground. Who's gonna get cut? You're gonna get cut. You're gonna get cut. Oh, he's gonna do some shanking. And oh my god, my chip tooth just whistled that S. Did anyone hear the whistle? Because every dog within five miles certainly did. All the birds just flocked away from the trees. <laughs> oh god. I hate it when that happens. See this tooth? See this one right there? chipped my teeth whistle through it and if you ever sort of feel my talking in your sinuses right here because i whistled an s so hard yeah that's it that's where it's from oh god day nine <laughs> tried to whisper a secret about snakes in my ear i felt it in my teeth okay so apparently oh god diesel has an observer yeah ain't that the truth but it's okay the dark templar moving in towards the main it looks like diesel has a couple of units prepared and he also just finished another observer Get through, push through, and it didn't work. Excellent. All right, Diesel is in a little bit of trouble. Uh-oh, Diesel. Oh, Diesel! All right, he's lost one. He's warping in some more. He's got to be careful. He might lose a second stalker. He does. And there's the Dark Templar. Just gets killed off, but what other choice does Funday Monday have? He is in a micro battle for his life, and he's continued to build cannons because lulls. What else can he do? <gasps> observer! He flew the observer into the cannons as desired. Oh, yes! 
and now it's time for Fun Day Monday to take his stride forward. Boom! There goes down one stalker. Run! Why don't you run, Diesel? Why don't you warp up on the high ground? Oh no, you don't have vision anymore! What's this little ripple in your ripple ripple doing? Oh no, that's right, it's cutting you! It's cutting you! It's just shoving a knife right into your gut like you're that guy who's promising you'll get a payment soon. But you forgot, this Dark Templar is a mob boss and he doesn't take shit from anyone. He runs this side of Metalopolis. The side of this roof of this large building that this map is built on. Because if any of you didn't actually know this, it actually is built on a giant building. You see, there's the side of the building. See when we uh, rotate? Yep. The side of the building? It's all the side of a building. It's a building, right? building cool right and why did i show you that little bit of information because i am related to tasteless <laughs> and that's what he does in gsl excellent so of course it looks like fun day monday has built some cannons forward just you know sort of uh a g generic defense as he goes ahead and builds a nexus but diesel realizes that if he just builds a bunch of units he can go attack the front dt had a chance to slip in. No! And now he's moving on in. There's the DT that gets two-shotted cancel going down. And suddenly Fun Day Monday is in a world of pain. And crying and tears and things of negative dimensions of all sorts, shapes, and sizes. And mass. So it looks like he's trying to build some pylons and he force fields. But there's an observer up on the high ground who can still shoot up there until he... Barely leaves that observer alive. But now it's time to go into hero mode. We have more gateways going down, which will allow him to build sentries and more cannons. Excellent. We've managed to start with cannons here and work our way to the left. And <gasps> Fun Day Monday, you certainly know how to play it right. When you are behind, cross them fingers and build expansions in unobvious places. All right, cool. Fun Day Monday doing his tower defense impersonation as he continues to waltz forward and any mortal. And because if you go to the F12 menu, go to Protoss units, click on Starker, you will see it is weak against... Ah! It is weak against the immortal. Actually, let me see what happens. I click on the immortal and the zealot and the colossus and the immortal. Zealot. Oh, I see. I see. This menu flips between Zealots, Immortals, and Colossus because, oh, I guess StarCraft 2 is rock, paper, scissors. Oh, let's see, let's see what else happens. Um, let's see what else. Let's, let's pick any unit. Someone give me a unit. Someone give me a unit. Um, carrier. Excellent. Carrier. Cool. Carrier weak against Void Ray, which is weak against Phoenix, which is Carrier. Oh, the air units. Oh, I see. It goes in a circle of three because StarCraft 2 is... Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, oh my god, I never realized. You know what? Marine. Marine. Let's choose a Marine. Let's choose a Marine, okay? I'm going to choose the Terran unit, Siege Tank, which is weak against the Banshee because it can't shoot up. It's weak against the Viking, is weak against the Marine. Siege Tank. <laughs> Banshee, Viking, Marine, Siege Tank, Banshee, Viking, Marine, Siege Tank, Banshee, Viking. We're playing Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, but no Spock. Spock can go fuck himself in his ears. Hey, are you picking up AM radio over there, Spock buddy? Hey, I couldn't find my can opener. Mind if I use your pointy, stupid ears? Ugh. I'm playing rock, paper, scissors, lizard, mother. And for, I don't know, what, what do they say on that planet? <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the bottom base, Vulcan disrespecter. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that on there. All right, cool. Anyways, we do see an immortal <gasps> warp prison with Dark Templar. Fun day Monday, getting creative, getting deceptive. And if he studied his counters well, he knows that, oh, cloaked units counter. Uncloaked units. And there it is going down. He manages to pin it and corner it and take it down, but he's hitting the pylon. And I'm not quite. Oh, oh. And he kills off the pylon just in time to find out that there was an observer there, anyways, and get away. Atta boy. Alright, cool. Fun day Monday. Now moving down. There's an Archon here because he combined two Dark Templars together. 
really need an expansion. You would like that, wouldn't you? Oh, wait. Oh, he's scouted? Oh, wait. This expansion is... Oh, no. Oh, Diesel knows all about it. He is tracking down these Dark Templar with serious prejudice. Much like Tommy Lee Jones tracked down Will Smith in that movie Enemy of the State, I think. Where they had a camera and they managed to figure out a way to take an image and rotate it in midair to find a video cassette player that was in his back pocket. And I was like, oh, there's such cool technology in 1999. I love your vision of the future. Yeah. I, I think that's right. I think that's right. I don't know. Diesel advancing forward. Frowns. As I think most people would. But that's okay. He managed to successfully mine good bit of gas, which is all he really needed, because zealots and stalkers require minerals, but Funday Monday is a bit of an elitist when it comes to unit production. He's only going to go gas heavy all the time. He's going to build a second robo. He's going to start getting weapons plus one. Oh, taking him down, taking this down, and with my money, I may as well expand. All right, if we go look at the unit county station. 26 stalkers and three zealots versus seven immortals and archon a Void Ray, a Warp Prism, a Sentry. Basically one of every unit. Hmm, I don't know what to do. Have fun! Oh, Diesel, yeah! Yeah, Diesel, Diesel! Have fun because it's Monday, and that's why we have fun. Mm, yes, because Monday is the greatest day of the week. In fact, Monday might be the greatest day of all time, unless the, the world does end on a Monday in 2012, which honestly wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me that much. All right, Diesel is going to expand on top of the DT. He's trying to be a sneaky, dastardly fellow. Here comes the warping multi-DT. He's doing the target firing. He's... Oh, when did this happen? God, well, he has six Archons and 26 Stalkers and a huge army. What? When did those happen? What the hell? <laughs> really? Really? Okay, okay. Diesel also has 2-1 upgrades and is almost done with 2-2. Cool. Um, and over here, it looks like we are 1-1, almost done with 2-2. And, alright, alright, it's time to take some prop bets. <laughs> How's this gonna turn out? How's this one going to turn out? Um, well, uh, Diesel clearly has the Immortal and Sentry lead and is losing in every other way. Okay, good, good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a story about you because I know you do this. Let's think back to earlier in the game. What did we see? Well, Diesel flew an observer into all those cannons that Funday Monday built kind of arbitrarily, and then a Dark Templar was warped in it and managed to take out the stalkers successfully. What happened? Funday Monday got lucky. But suppose that you were in Funday Monday's position, and you got lucky, and you wanted to show this replay to your friend. What do you do? You retell the story as though it was intentional. Ah, I know you do that. Yes, you do. Of course you do that. Well, you know, I was building all the cannons because, I mean, I, I was sort of banking on the fact that I saw he had one control group. And that if he wanted to 1A his stalkers, he'd probably walk his observer in. I was anticipating his observer to move in, and then I could target fire it and kill it. That's what I saw, because I thought that he had one control group. You start over-explaining the lie that you just fabricated on the spot. Because, I mean, a lot of players use control group 1. And even as you look at the replay right now, you'll see it's in control group 1. You know, I'm always thinking, when you don't build zealous and stalkers. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Well, this is a common place for a warp prism to go through, so I like to send my corruptors there at just the right time. No, you sweated on your mouse pad and you accidentally tweaked and sent the corruptors off to a corner. You filthy, sweaty, grody, grody sock. But that's okay, because when you tell your stories, you get to be the king of reality. And Funday Monday, let's see what his reality is actually going to be. No, 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 I'm going to try to bait him in and try to kill off the observer with the... All right, here it comes. Oh, Immortal's doing some damage. The angle's good. The angle's good. He's pulling back. He's got to be careful. The Archons are indeed massive. They will break down those force fields. 
Trying to target fire the Archons. No Guardian Shield going down because of absolutely no reason whatsoever. But Immortals, as it turns out, are so unbelievably, stupidly, awesomely good. They're the Observers alive and well, and there is no problem with them in the slightest. And fun day, fun frickin' day. Unleashes the hurt bringing. Wow. Because, you know, I thought I was, I was anticipating that with his 1A, you know, that he would, you know, eventually fly his observers. Because, you know, you'll even see that they're in control group 1 because, and that's why, and that's why I built the cannons. That's why I did that. You get to be master of your own reality. What? <laughs> Diesel's just as confused. Diesel doesn't get it. He's so... Hmm... Immortals are good, you guys. And immortals are pretty good, dude. As Kirikaki would say. So I was playing this game and I was building Immortals. Because <laughs> they're really good against Marauders. And there they go. There they go, chasing them around. What do you do with your money? You expand. And you build cannons in completely arbitrary locations. If I'm taking a fourth, then he might be taking a fourth. I hope the Day 9 gets to see this game. That'd be sweet. Atta boy, Diesel. Atta boy. Using warp prism to power cannons to build pylons while an army of doom wrecks across the southern portion of the map. <laughs> fat, fat, fat. Goes fun day Monday when he builds his army of units that cost a lot of cascade. Yeah, fun day Monday, the wrecking ball of destruction, far more potent than that opening scene of Indiana Jones. With that flimsy, non cool. Stone ball rolling down that Indy barely got away. One day Monday would track him down and shoot him with a gun. Hope Day 9 doesn't see this. I will be ashamed. Don't worry, Diesel. Don't worry. We got to see it. Beyond goes on stream. Can't believe I lost. Well, we can't believe how good Immortals are. With a lol. Was tough. Look at him. Look at him. Stutter stepping Immortals. What an awesome game and a perfect way to end the fun day Monday will be the next game. I got one more for you and it kind of relates to this topic that we presented today, to the fun day Monday topic where a lot of people did not quite understand. We got SMG string, we got wake caster up in the top side and SMG string says the following. You may choose two non-worker units I cannot build, cannot start with the same letter. Question mark. Also good luck, have fun. What is that question about? Just pick two units and I cannot build them. This makes my bra- and he leaves the game. Cool! Let's talk about the Funded Monday topic for... Ugh. Ugh. Next week. I am gonna call this the Kamikaze Funday Monday. When you attack, you must bring all your workers along for the attack. You may leave at your base at most 10 workers. At most 10. Every time you attack, you must bring all your workers. Except you may, if you like, leave 10. Submit those to Monday at day9.tv for tomorrow's newbie Tuesday. We're going to be taking a look at extra long, mega crazy, stupidly long games where we're going to be examining the idea of mid to late game play. Um, or excuse me, late to ultra late game play. Like 25 minute mark and onward. Because I think that given with, that StarCraft II's been out for nearly two years now, especially if you include the beta, people are getting a good sense of the opening. How to do the openings, the general stuff to go for, but it can get a little bit confusing when it's max versus max and people are losing their army and resetting back to maxed. So we're going to be looking at that tomorrow. And if you'd like to contribute one of your favorite pro replays where you were confused by the late game, send it to Tuesday at Day9.tv. For now, I'm going to stop talking because my voice hurts very, very badly. Colonel!